We're here today in the beautiful sanctuary of Muncie Memorial United Methodist Church in Johnson City, Tennessee. We're here today to talk about the pipe organ, which is the biggest and grandest of all the musical instruments. So you need a big space to house it. We have pipes on the side, we have pipes in the back, and we have our organ on the side. So now we're gonna walk over and meet our organist and look at the organ up close so you can see how it works. And there you have heard the pipe organ at its grand, loud self. We're here today with Dr. David Runner, who is a professor of organ at Milligan College here in Johnson City, and he's gonna be demonstrating the pipe organ for us. So first, let's look at what's in the pipe organ. Obviously, lots of pipes, and we'll show you some pictures of pipes that you can see so um, you can get the full grandeur of, of pipe organ this. A pipe organ has three keyboards. So we have a top keyboard that is called the swell, and the next keyboard is called the grate, and the one below that is called the choir. And then we have a fourth keyboard, which is operated with his feet. So uh, it's definitely a full body operation to play the pipe organ. So you might notice as you're looking at it that we have lots of knobs here. There's a whole other set there that you probably can't see. We have knobs on the bottom, we have knobs under here. What do all those knobs do? We call these stops. And what they do is change which of the pipes are actually playing and change the combinations of the pipes. So we get different kinds of sounds based on which stops we're using. So we're gonna ask Dr. Runner to play some different stop things for us just so we can get an idea of how that changes. Beautiful, thank you. Now, you might have noticed that he was on the same keyboard much of the time and he just changed a button and it sounded completely different. And that's one of the wonderful things about the pipe organ. It can almost be an orchestra by itself because it has so many different combinations that you can make. And some of the stops are even called like tuba or oboe, except I think they used the French word for it on the, on the stop. So it, they're actually trying to create the same sorts of sounds we get from the orchestra. So the um, organ is its own little orchestra. Um, the organ is very popular in the Baroque period and then sort of makes a little resurgence in the Romantic period. In fact, um, Camille Saint-Saëns wrote, wrote a symphony, uh, his symphony number no. three, which has the nickname of the organ because it has this wonderful organ part that I think only happens in the last movement. Isn't that right? Yes. And he gets to sit through most of the symphony and then he gets to be grand and glorious at the end. So, um, And then again, in the 20th century, the organ kind of makes a resurgence in popularity in terms of compositions being written for it. Um, so um, unlike the piano, where you can control your volume levels with how hard you press the keys, it doesn't matter how hard you press an organ key, it's gonna get the same volume level if you're in the same stops. So the volume is controlled with a pedal down underneath that looks almost like a gas pedal on your car so that you can um, adjust your volume levels as you go. Um, so we're going to ask uh, Dr. Runner to play us a piece and show us, show us his stuff.
most churches have one pipe organ, as does this one. And if you go to churches all over the world, as particularly in Europe, you'll find a pipe organ. And it's usually located in the back of the church in the, in the organ loft. But there are churches that have gone to the extreme. There's actually a church in Austria that has five pipe organs, it has one in the back and four around the central part of the church where the two parts come together in the cross. So um, that's one way to go big, really big with what's something that's already really big. There's also a church in Passau, Germany that has about 18,000 pipes. It's the biggest pipe organ in the world. So as you can imagine, that can be pretty loud and pretty impressive when you hear that played. So we're going to close out this section on the organ by having Dr. Runner play us a toccata. A toccata is a, is a word for touch. So it's a piece that lets the performer demonstrate their ability to change sounds by the way they touch the keyboard. So we'll finish and we thank Dr. Runner for playing for us today. Um, and he's playing a toccata in some key, we're not gonna worry about that for now. C, he says, okay, a toccata in C.